Yo, 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 what's good, fam? I put together a little something, something here for y'all. How to create and rig a conveyor belt in Cinema 4D using Expresso. Narration by Kanye. Voice clone via Eleven Labs. At JigPX on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, YouTube. You already know what it is. Let's get it. Gonna start by setting up some nulls here for the object hierarchy to keep it organized and all. Next thing we're going to add here is the belt. Going to take a plain object and wrap it around a rectangle spline with rounded ends using a spline wrap deformer. Adjusting the offset value in the deformer will move the plane along the spline, but let's add a checkered material on it real quick to help see it better. And then a cloth surface on the belt to give it some thickness. Belt moving here as it should through the deformer offset. Next, add a cylinder for the wheel. Run it through a cloner to make an array of wheels along the track. The count will set the amount of wheels that will run along the end point Z size. Going to set up four custom parameters here, track length, belt width, wheel radius, and turn. These parameters will control our rig after we link it all together in Expresso. Now this is gonna look a bit complicated, but really isn't. Just some basic geometry. Let's start with the wheel. To have it fit within the belt, the height of the belt should match the wheel diameter and its rounding radius should match the wheel radius so the wheels fit the belt in. Simple enough, mostly common sense. The track length and spline width should technically be the same, save for the fact that the spline width shrinks when adding rounded ends, but no big deal. Easy to work around with a little math. When the belt turns, the wheels gotta turn in sync. And if you take the belt length and divide by the circumference of a wheel, you get the amount of rotations it'll make with every belt revolution. Now let's plug it all into Expresso. Expresso is visual-based programming through the use of nodes. Works essentially no different than text-based programming as with expressions in After Effects, for instance, but more intuitive as you can see everything going on in a simple flowchart. We start by adding an Expresso tag. Opening the tag will pop up the Expresso window. There, drag and drop objects to make a node. The top corners will pull up its parameters with the left blue corner receiving values and the right red corner sending values. Creating a wire from one parameter to another makes a connection. Expresso operators can be found in the left panel of the window. The formula operator, which I use a bunch here, takes in values that can then be applied in a mathematical formula and outputs the result that can then be sent to another node. Selecting a node in the Expresso window will pull up its properties in the attributes pane. For a formula operator, for example, it provides a text box where the formula can be written out. There are a ton of operators to work with. A simpler math operator can be used here as well, but I generally prefer formula because it's more open-ended, more control. There's some more operators I use here, such as range mapper, which maps a value from one range of values to another range of values. Here, I use it for the belt turn range to wheel rotation range. The belt turn range is controlled by spline offset. So so 0 to 100%. The wheel rotation range is 0 degrees to the formula described before. Belt length divided by wheel circumference times 360 degrees. I also use an operator to convert from radians to degrees. A lot of it seems fairly straightforward, self-explanatory when you break it down piece by piece. I also want to point out that you can put all this here across multiple Expresso tags. I'm mainly putting them all here in a single tag to show the full picture of how the rig operates in its entirety. There's also a quick method to have one parameter's value control another's. The set driver and set driven method. If you right click on an any animatable parameter of an object in its attributes pane and go to set driver and then go to any other parameter, right click and set driven, it will automatically create an Expresso tag on the object linking the two together. It can then also be opened and edited as with any Expresso tag. They auto insert range mapper through this method. I think in case of different units between two values, for example, lengths, percents, degrees, etc. But this can be removed manually, of course, if you prefer. 
And completed, here it is. We have a lot of control over the conveyor belt. As you can see, it follows our instructions to change everything accordingly based on just these four parameters we created. These rigs can sometimes be tricky to make, but saves time in the long run, especially when it comes to assets you plan to use again in the future. I hope you were able to learn something from this, which wasn't really about the conveyor belt, but the skills and techniques involved in making it. Until next time, see ya!